Hi, everybody. Make sure that you have something really comfortable to sit on. We're going to start off with a little bit of a meditation today um, to just help ourselves come to as close to stillness in the mind as we can today. And every day is different. Um, but a little bit about the concept of stillness. When we meditate, there's that common misconception that um, our mind is going to come to complete stillness. And that if it doesn't, then we're doing it wrong. Um, and that's just not the case, because it's very literally impossible for your mind to completely come to stillness. There will always be distraction. And one of the ways that we work with our mind to come toward that still place is to recognize that stillness isn't going to completely happen. Um, and this allows our nervous system to calm about coming to stillness because sometimes we get so frustrated with not being able to meditate properly or just whatever that concept is in your mind, whatever message it is that you're sending yourself about meditation. Um, and so I want to emphasize today that meditation isn't coming to complete stillness. Meditation is the act of recognizing where your mind is and coming back to your breath and noticing again where your mind is and coming back to your breath and always giving your mind a task. Um, and that task is really simple. It's breathing. Um, and we all have that ability anytime for even a few seconds at a time to come back to that breath, come back to that focus, and to give ourselves the break if our mind wandered off, to not beat ourselves up for not doing it perfectly. Because there is no perfect, there's only a practice, okay? So as you take a good seat, take the time to shift your sitting bones, and I can't I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm straddling over a bolster here as opposed to sitting cross-legged. So you can sit however it feels good to your body, um, and in particular, take the time to find where it feels good in your body to sit, okay? So rest your hands on your thighs or wherever is comfortable and lengthen your spine. Think of from your tailbone all the way up your spine, even the back of your neck, because your spine ends at your upper palate. So lengthen all the way up into your upper palate. Then let your eyes close, and as you start to tune into your breath, let a full, deep inhale, long, full exhale, in and out of the nose begin to happen. Now bring your awareness to your breath, watching it move in and out. Notice for yourself what's expanding and contracting as you breathe. And begin to notice what's outside your body, using your senses to notice the details. What can you hear? What is it that you can taste and smell? What do you see behind your eyelids? What do you feel underneath your hands, maybe underneath your feet? Then bring your awareness back to your breath, moving in and out.
and then notice even further outside of your senses right near you. But what do you sense even further away? What's there for sounds? Maybe in general, how does the room around you feel? Then bring your awareness back to inside of you. Your breath moving in and out. Your body expanding and contracting with your breath. Stay with your breath, noticing it, and notice around you. Connect palms together at heart center and take a full breath. Then softly open your eyes. And as you notice the room around you taking in the details, start to turn your head a little side to side, a little upward, a little downward. Just take in your surroundings. And then come back into center, turn your palms, inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale, hands come to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale, hands come to your heart. One more time this way, working through your shoulders. And then walk your hands up to your knees, move through a couple rounds of your cat and cow, and as you take your full breaths here, you're tuning into any of the sensations that are present through your body. Notice anything showing up for tension or notice where you feel open today. Your exhales help you to press back. Your inhales help you to drop forward. One more. Then inhale, sit tall, shift forward onto your hands and your knees. You can set aside whatever you're sitting on. And now we'll move through our bodies to help us sense a little bit more of what's going on inside. And as we do that, we get to also sense our breath and what's going on outside. So rotate elbow pits forward, push with your hands. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back. If that's in your practice today, you can always stay on hands and knees but then paddle out, bend one knee at a time. Maybe allowing your hips to sway a little bit or maybe letting them sway a lot. And again, you can always do this from your hands and knees. It doesn't have to be from down dog. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold. Take a moment here to adjust yourself. You can always take your feet wider than your hips, a considerable bend to your knees, blocks underneath your hands. As you find what feel, helps you feel better in your body in this first forward fold, start to inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold a few times. Inhale, exhale. Full long inhale, lengthen, Notice the space. Full, long exhale, fold. Let yourself release. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Then bring your hands up to your thighs. You have a bend to your knees and walk your way up your legs, coming up into your standing mountain position. So as you find your feet in your hip bone distance apart and parallel, Lift and spread your toes and then root down, feeling the ground underneath your feet. Then turn your palms 
opening and expanding through your heart space. Let your eyes close and take a full, deep, long inhale. Long, full exhale, sensing your breath moving in and out of your body. Sensing your body in this space. Inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. Exhale, soft knees to fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen partway. Exhale and fold. Planting your hands, it's your right foot stepping back into your lunge. Center off your hips. You can always bring your back knee to the ground here if you would like. Inhale, stretch up. And as you stretch up, draw your left hip crease back in space and bend just a little deeper into your front knee. Then from hip to armpit, grow longer. As you stretch up, start to broaden through the tops of your shoulders. Take one more big breath, sensing your breath moving in and out of your body. Exhaling, hands come down to the front of your mat. Find your right hand on a block or the floor on the outside edge of your mat. Left hand to your knee, start to turn your belly and your heart toward the left side. Put both shoulder blades onto your back and wrap your left hip back. If you'd like, you can stretch up, take a full breath and sense your breath moving in and out. Exhaling, both hands come back down to your mat. Lift your back knee if it's on the ground. Turn and plant your back heel. And then bring your left elbow to your knee, right hand to your hip, coming into a side angle pose variation here. You're bending into your front knee to the point of stacking your front shin. Turn your knee open all the way from your glute. Then push down with your elbow and turn your heart to the right side. Stretching your top arm up and over if that feels good, or you can always keep your hand at your hip. Full breath. Exhaling, both hands come down to the front of your mat and step all the way back to a downward facing dog pose. Take a deep breath. Rotate your elbow pits so they're turning toward the front of your mat. Bend your knees until your sitting bones up. Then sense for yourself what's happening in your body, your body in this space. Sense a full deep breath. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. Plant your fingertips. It's your left foot this time stepping back into your lunge. And again, knee up or down, your choice, okay? Inhale, rise all the way up. Take a moment to send your right hip crease back in space and to bend deeper into your front knee. And then push your back knee into the ground so your hip lifts a little bit. Full big breath, lift your sides. Take a big, deep inhale, long, full exhale. Next exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat. Lift your back knee. Oh wait, just kidding, we're gonna take our twist first. Set your left hand on a block or the floor. Set your right hand on your knee as you turn your belly and your heart to the right side. Put both shoulder blades on your back. Then if you want to, you can stretch your top arm to the sky. But take a moment to feel your breath moving in and out. Next, exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Lift your back knee, turn and plant your back heel and bring right elbow to your knee, left hand to your hip. Bend your right knee to the point of stacking your shin. Then turn your knee open so it's turning toward your pinky toe edge. Keep that as you turn open with your torso to the left. Both shoulder blades are engaged. You're welcome to stretch your top arm up over your ear or keep your hand at your hip. Big breath. On your exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step all the way back. Downward facing dog pose. 
take a deep breath and take a moment to sense what's happening for you in your body. And if down dog does not feel good, feel free to come to your hands and knees instead. Either way, rotate your elbow pits forward and push. Big deep breath. And now knees down, hips to heels. Pause in a child's pose for a moment and feel your breath move in and out. Inhale, rise back to your hands and knees, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose. Take a big deep breath. And now work your way forward with your hands. Take as many steps as you need. Blocks are close to you or whatever you're using for blocks. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. Hands come up to your thighs and walk your way up your thighs, coming all the way up to stand. And now, as you find your way to mountain pose, feet are inner hip bone distance apart and parallel. Lift and spread your toes. Turn open with your palms. Now root your toes down. Close your eyes and take a moment to feel your breath move in and out. Feel your body in this space. Then softly open your eyes. And now we're going to take some variations of half moon here. And so having blocks handy, we're going to start with them. But then if you have a longer reach, then you might bring your hands all the way to the ground. Okay? So hands right to your thighs. Bend your knees, feel the hip crease start to happen, and push back with your sitting bones. Walk your hands down your legs, and then release them all the way down to your blocks or the floor if you have longer arms. And actually, um, as I said, start off with blocks to begin with, and that can be a higher block, that could be up on a stool, or it could be two blocks, whatever you happen to have. So now, tilt your sitting bones up and extend your heart forward. Now from this place, tone your low belly and tone your low ribs so you let your back body at the kidney area expand a little bit. And now shift your weight onto your left foot. And I like to bring my right hand in a little bit when I, when I lift my right leg. It just helps the balance feel a little bit more even. So now from this place, you're centering off your hips, drawing your right hip crease down. I want you to, if you can, take your left thumb into your hip crease and give your hip crease a push back. Think of wrapping your left glute so much that you might feel your knee turn a little bit to the left side. Now take your left hand and you're going to shift it wherever you need it to be so that you feel a little bit more stable. And now start to turn up and open with your right hip. And as you do so, notice that your left knee wants to turn to the right side. So wrap that glute down and under again until it turns. You might keep right fingertips at the floor or at the block, or you might bring your hand up to your hip, whichever feels the best to you. You're welcome to be down here with both hands, okay? Wrap your left hip back so you feel your knee turn, and then turn open even more through your right hip. From that place, push with your right heel, extend your heart. If your hand is at your hip, you might turn more open through your torso and your shoulders, if your shoulders feel as if they're stacking, maybe you stretch your top arm to the sky. You can always come back to your hip or even both hands at blocks. Take a big deep breath. Wrap your left hip back. And then exhale, both hands come down, both feet come down. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Stick your sitting bones up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Pause in your fold wherever that is for you, and that might be with elbows resting at your thighs. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. As you breathe, watch your breath move in and out of your body. Watch any of the sensations that are present.
And now releasing your hands back to your blocks. You're shifting your weight onto your right foot and lifting your left leg up. And again, you might walk your left hand in a little bit for a little support. But now right hip, press your thigh bone back so your glute is wrapping. And then begin to turn open with your left hip. And as you do so, remember, keep turning your left or your right knee to the right side here using your glute. Push through your heel, extend with your heart. You decide, you might shift your block a little further out, a little further in, wherever you need it to be. Maybe you bring your hand up to your hip. Maybe you keep it at your block. But keep wrapping your glute down and under and turning open through your top hip. Take a big breath. On your exhale, both hands come down, both feet come down. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold over your legs. Plant your hands and step all the way back. Downward facing dog pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Use knees on the ground if you would like to. Rotate elbow pits, extend through your collarbones Tone your belly. Next exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Reach back with one leg at a time and root down through the tops of your feet. Root down through your hands right by your rib cage. And now as you push with your feet, push with your knees, engage your low belly, pull it in. Take a big exhale, pull your low ribs in. Inhale, shoulders lift up and back, rising up into as high a cobra as your body is ready for. Big deep breath, make the back of your neck in line with the curve of your spine. So instead of tilting your head way up, keep a neutral neck. Exhale, push all the way back, hips to heels, take a child's pose. And inhale, rise back up to your hands and your knees. Rotate elbow pits, push, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose, and take a full breath. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. Walk your hands up your legs, rise all the way up to stand. And then pause for a moment, finding your mountain pose. Feet inner hip bone distance apart and parallel. Think of second toe back to the middle of your ankles. So if you tend to stand with toes turned out a little bit, take the time to turn them in. And then root. Push down, push down with your heels, turn your palms open, close your eyes and observe your breath moving in and out of your body. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen part way and exhale, fold. Plant your fingertips, you're stepping right foot back into your lunge. Turn and plant your back heel, and this time we're rising up into our warrior two for a moment, setting it, settling into your front leg so your shin is stacked, you're opening your knee up. As you lift your ribs and your heart up high, reach your arms, take a big deep breath right here, and notice your breath moving in and out of your body. Gaze over your front fingertips. On your exhale, bring hands down to the front of your mat. Now you're gonna take a block or whatever you're using and reach it forward with your left hand. Back foot's gonna help you bump. And you're gonna take a big bump to push your foot forward 
or to come all the way up to balance, back to our half moon here. If you want, you can always keep that lifted leg on the ground. So wrap your left hip down and under, turn your belly open, take a big breath, maybe stretch your top arm to the sky. And then as softly as you can, back to your warrior two. Take a big breath. Exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Step back, downward facing dog pose. Deep breath. Walk your feet forward. Take a deep inhale in your forward fold. And exhale. Plant your fingertips and again step left foot back into your lunge. Turn and plant your back heel and rise to your warrior two. Open your front knee up. As you settle in, lift your ribs and your heart. Notice your breath. Then reaching hands down to your blocks, find your right one. And then you're gonna shift your way forward. Use your back foot to help you bump, to either keep your foot on the ground and open up, or lift your leg right up, whoops. And if you fall over, that's okay too. Take a full breath wherever that is, wrapping your right hip down and under, maybe stretching up. Deep breath. And then as softly as you can, coming back to your warrior two with that open knee. Exhaling, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes, set your knees back, come into your child's pose. Then gently push yourself up to your seat. And you're going to come all the way to sitting bones. And from your sitting bones, lower all the way onto your back. And from your back, pull knees up close, rock side to side. Open knees up wide, aim your feet toward the ceiling, and then hold on around the backsides of your thighs, outsides of shins, or outsides of your feet, wherever that is for you. But notice at your pelvis and try to tilt your sitting bones down. As you tilt your sitting bones down, also feel a pull down with your hands, a push back with your feet. Full breath. And gently release your footprints to the ground, drop your knees in together to touch. And then open up into either a T or a cactus with your arms. Take a deep breath right here, tuning into your body in this space. your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and rock side to side. Then roll over to one side and slowly push yourself up to your seat. And from your seat, take whatever is comfortable and then take a hand to your belly and a hand to your heart and take a full couple of breaths inhaling and exhaling noticing your breath moving through your body noticing your body in this space have a very peaceful beautiful day namaste Thanks, everybody.